Hey guys, MacMage here, and today I'm going to show you how to download and sign IPAs to your iOS device. So as you can see here, I've got a few IPAs that I've downloaded for the purposes of demonstration in this video so that I can show you how to do this. As you can see here, I have both Cody's as well as an app called Napster. If you follow the Cody Krypton tutorial, it's basically that same process. Um, if you want to install Jarvis or any other um, Cody, I think Legacy is on there as well. Uh, so if you want to install any version of Cody, it's basically the same process as the Krypton video. But if you want to um, check out what kind of apps are on this site, I'm going to show you right now. You will need Cydia Impactor, and the link will be in the description. You will also need to come to this website, which will also be in the description. And there are loads of amazing apps in here. Um, as you can see, some are familiar from um, Kodi. You have tweaked apps, which for those of you who don't know, are like apps that allow you to do um, certain things that your regular apps won't do. Like, for example, uh, with Facebook, you won't have sponsored ads or suggested ads that you don't want. So also, you're going to find emulators and stuff that you can play various games on. You're going to find screen recording software. Um, a really good app for cleaning all of the junk that you don't want out of your phone. Um, so there's tons of apps in here, and the process is basically the same. Uh, you can find the details on each app. This is for like a torrent downloader. And here are all of the Cody's. You have Cody Jarvis, Cody Krypton, and Legacy. Um, so you can download all of those uh, here as well. I have tried both the Cody Jarvis and the Krypton, and they work just fine. I don't prefer Krypton, so that's why I got the Jarvis download. Um, those work just fine. Again, more emulators. Um, movie box which will allow you to watch movies and tv shows so just various apps that you can download that have been um hacked tweaked whatever you want to call it i'm going to go ahead and put napster on my phone so again you're going to need Cydia impactor and the installation process on a mac is simple just open up the dmg Just drag Cydia into your applications and let it go. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's all you have to do. Once that's done, then just go to wherever you have your applications. Maybe it's on your dock, or just click go and then go to applications. It'll be stored under Impactor, and then you're just going to want to click to open that up. Let me just get rid of this. And just take your app that you want to put on your phone and then drag it over to the um, the city impactor. Don't mess with the drop down box underneath. You really don't need to do that. Just simply drag it over there and drop it. You're going to be asked for your Apple ID and password. You can either use the Apple ID and password you use for every other app or you can make one up for the purposes of signing each app. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my credentials and then I'll show you what happens when I'm done. Okay, once you've put in your credentials, it just starts to sign the app and then it will appear on your phone. Now these are seven day signed apps, which means that in a week you will have to repeat this process again in order to keep the apps functioning properly. Once you have installed it, it'll appear on your phone and then all you'll have to do is just log in like normal and um, just don't allow. And then you'll get a message from the developer telling you what you have to do. Let me go ahead and put in my credentials so you can see that it does work. Once you've put in your credentials, it'll just welcome you to the app. And then you can like start putting your artists in or whatever. If you don't want to do that, just click skip and it'll take you to your music and stuff like that. With this app, um, you can get your music, uh, whichever type of artist or whatever you like. Um, and unlike with the free version, it will play longer than 30 seconds. So it'll actually play the full song. You can get your full albums, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about not being able to skip through the songs. You can shuffle your playlist. You pretty much have this as if it were a legitimate account. Again, I'll leave the website in the description so you guys can download the apps that you choose. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and share. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support continues to motivate me to do what I do. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.